So he forgot to say you may kiss the bride in German <laughs> at all. And I remember I was asking my husband, I was like, um, like I was whispering like when when is he gonna say he's gonna kiss? <laughs> If you're new here, do not be afraid to subscribe. It won't kill you, it won't hurt you, I promise. All you have to do is click down on the button below that says subscribe in bright red. You only have to do it once in your whole life, just once, then you can forget about it. So what are you waiting for? Just click that button and you're done. And to all those who have subscribed, thank you so, so much to everyone who's subscribing, watching, liking, commenting. I really appreciate it. So I am really excited about today's video. It's about my wedding. Um, yay! <laughs> um, I'm already married, so it's, it's not like I'm getting married. Um, I got married in August 2018, so it will be two years this coming August. And I thought, um, why not talk about the wedding, um, what I liked, what I could maybe do differently. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. So overall, I really liked my wedding. Um, it was just amazing. Like, guys, it was just really good. Um, I enjoyed my wedding. I had so much fun. And um, so the first thing that I really liked about my wedding was that um, we had such a great venue. So the thing is, we had gone to another place, um, we'd already visited another venue, and that place, mm, no, <laughs> I was just like, no. So um, we got married in Germany, I forgot to mention that. So we got married in Germany, and uh, so my husband was the one actually looking for the venues because I was living and working in Belgium at that time. So the first venue was not good. But the venue where we actually got married was so amazing. I was so excited about it when my husband showed it to me. It had this vintage look with red curtains and it just had enough space for the number of people we wanted. Um, and it was really just the location. So um, it was just the location and everything else had to be done externally. And that was great. But I remember the first time my husband, um, when he showed me the picture, I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. Like, amazing, perfect. And then he's like, um, the thing is, it's like, it's at a red, it's at a hospital. And I was like, excuse me, <laughs> like, how, how are you going to have a wedding at a hospital? So it was like on the hospital grounds, like it was a separate building, but on hospital grounds. So I was not so excited about that in the beginning, but in the end, it worked out perfectly. And so that's the first thing, like our venue was really great. And then the second thing I liked about our wedding was everyone that helped out. Um, we had so many people helping out. Shout out to my parents-in-law who were really on top of things. Um, my mother-in-law decorated the church tea and coffee area. And um, they also just ensured like everything was ready and set in place. So yeah, shout out to them and shout out to all the people from the church who baked cakes for after the service um, and also volunteered at the reception. Um, because it was just a venue, they also didn't have people to do the serving. So we had to find people externally. And I thank you so much for everyone who volunteered as a waiter or a waitress at a wedding. That was just really good and really amazing. Thank you so, so much. Um, now the third thing that I liked about our wedding was our, um, in relation to the waiters and waitresses, we have a friend who has this very great business idea of tablets um, where you can order your drinks or your snacks as well. Um, and so he, yeah, he, he did that at our wedding um, as a gift and that was just amazing. So it was really good because like sometimes it would have been a lot of time going from table to table. Like we had 14 tables. And imagine people going from table to table asking people what they want to drink. So having the tablets was just amazing. Um, people could order drinks, the drinks were there. It was just more efficient for the waiters and waitresses, more efficient for the people as well. Um, it was just great. And thank you so much, Eve, uh, for such a great idea and for how letting us use it out at our wedding. Thank you so much. Um, I really like that. And then um, the fourth thing that I liked about our wedding 
Well, is that my sister? Um, my sister is so amazing. Um, she's so talented and um, she did my makeup, she did my hair. She also, um, like, she went with me for the bridal shopping, like for the dress shopping. Um, she also went with me to find the bridesmaids dresses. She was just really on top of things. <laughs> there were days where I was like, um, today I'm not thinking about the wedding. And she would look at me like, because she had, had her wedding the year before and she was like she was like you're tripping um so it was really good to have her um thank you so much um for just helping me out she also made my bouquet guys like my sister was just really on top of things without her um my wedding would have been so different especially with the makeup you know that i am darker skinned and i'm often afraid that people would always use a lighter foundation on my skin and um but she just knows me perfectly and that was just so great and i'm so thankful for that and shout out to my bridesmaids and to my maid of honor um guys like my maid of honor was on top of things she like she was just amazing when i look at the wedding video you see her all over the place like she was she's there um picking up my dress um she's there taking care of my bag she's there encouraging me and yeah she's she was just really on top of things and also to my bridesmaids you know twin twin um your atmosphere like thank you so so much um really guys for um your just the fact that you 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 pay for your own dresses. I'm so happy that my bridesmaids were willing to pay for their own dresses. Um, they were helping out um, at the wedding. They were really just on top of things as well. They had the great ambience. They made sure people were dancing on the dance floor. And shout out also to my girls that practiced with me, practiced our dance um, for my hubby. Um, thank you for just taking out time from your day-to-day -day activities to, to uh, come up with a with the dance routine first of all like thank you for your choreography ideas um thank you to my brother-in-law who also um cut the song for us thank you so much like um I'm, I'm really happy that we got to do that like we got to do a dance for my hubby and uh but you guys were just really on top of things and um yeah like i'm also thankful to uh the groomsmen for all the help that they um for all the help that they did like we had such great groomsmen and one of them was also leading the program like he really organized everything all the different people wanted to say something the speeches from the parents um or also from family members um my my sister-in-law and my mother-in-law also did this puppet show um from a song from frozen that was also really nice um it was really just really great and also to the guests like guys when you organize a wedding in another country it's not evident that everyone will come but for our wedding like everyone turned up maybe one person didn't come but like literally everyone turned up and it's not easy to just like travel to another country to book a hotel um and just maybe get a visa whatever that's like involved with that and i just want to say a big thank you to my auntie and uncle in america to my auntie and uncles um in belgium and in the netherlands so everyone who really traveled to my church that came, um, thank you so, so much. And I'm also thankful to our worship team, the song that they sang. I'm also thankful to our Zambian sister who sang Muli um, Kulu. That was just so amazing. It was so great to have somebody sing a Themba song at our wedding because we had some songs in English and we had such a great band as well. It was really nice to have that touch of home. Um, in our wedding service that was just really amazing and I'm so thankful for that I'm also thankful to our DJ <laughs> from Christ Southern Church um, you got people dancing and that was just amazing people had so much fun and they were like this is the best wedding that we've been to where we could really dance and really enjoy ourselves so thank you so much for all the tunes that you played uh, that really got people moving I really appreciate it and thank you also to my pastor from Christ Southern Church the sermon was so good like it spoke to everyone marriage is not something that just comes naturally it's something that you have to work out um we need to work it out and um it's really a sermon that we we listen to um annually <laughs> on our anniversary and i just thank you so much for that that you came and also just for the role that you played um in our in our story you and mama thank you so much for that you um, my pastor, my pastor's wife, um, 
Thank you so, so much. I really, I'm just so grateful. Like we had such a great group of guests. We had such a great sermon. The music was good. The food guys, um, our vendors. So because we had the separate location, like it was just a venue, we had to do a lot of like vendors. And the good thing is that you can bargain. So that was also good. And um, we had such a great catering team. Shout out to my parents-in-law who found the catering team. Um, they cooked such great food. It was even too much food, but it was so yummy. Um, and we even ate the food the week after the wedding. So why not? Um, and also our decoration woman, it was not easy like to find um, the decorations. Cause again, it was like in Germany in another city, my German was not good, but I was Googling around and we found her and she did such a great job. My colors were gold and burgundy and those are not easy colors for the summer. But she did such a great job and that was just really good um and i mean yeah like she did such an amazing job and also um a big a big thank you to um yeah like it was just an amazing time like the wedding was so good the weather was great some people were like yeah it's august and it rains so hmm. but like in the morning it was raining um but I prayed and the Lord granted us such great weather and I'm so happy that we could even get married because we almost couldn't get married because of bureaucracy reasons but um, we got married and we just had such a great time and I really enjoyed every single second of it, the program, I, I love the fact that people are just really um, excited for us or happy for us um, and everyone had fun like not everyone had to dance but those who like dancing got the opportunity to dance and um no like it was really really great and i'm thankful for everyone who traveled and just came and celebrated with us we really had such a great great time um and yeah like to be honest like my sister um i'm so happy that she got married before because then i got to learn from her and she really just carried me through the whole thing and um yeah i'm just really really thankful for that so overall the wedding was just amazing you can really hear me from it from like you can hear from what i'm saying already um and i think if i could change some things i would change um like i would change four things it's never perfect like guys we there'll be things that will happen on your wedding day that would shock you <laughs> that would um make you cry <laughs> that would just be not so nice um on my wedding day i i don't think i think the only thing i would have taken more time for the photography that was a bit rushed um our wedding started at 1 p.m and so we had the service until 1 30 or so no 2 30 somewhere around there and then there was a greeting the people and then we eventually went, went for the uh, pictures um and that was really nice we had a cool ride for that and the atmosphere <laughs> leading up to the photography part was just amazing as well um but the thing was like i wish i wish maybe we had a better venue for taking the pictures or maybe that we had taken the pictures the day before um i don't know i just feel like we could have taken more time for the pictures um yeah like they were good eventually but i think I would have liked to have just had more time. Um, and then another thing that I would do differently, um, if I could go back in time, is um, at, at our church service, it's not, it's not my fault. Like, the thing was like, um, so we had the pastor from Belgium, from our church in Belgium, Christ in a Church, who um, gave the amazing sermon. Um, but then we also had the pastor in Germany who, um, who was doing the, the marriage so he forgot to say you may kiss the bride in german <laughs> at all and i remember i was asking my husband i was like um like i was whispering like when when is he gonna say we're gonna kiss you know <laughs> like it didn't happen in the church service and that was really a low point because that's the moment you know like that's really the highlight um, and that was sad, like it didn't happen. Um, but we, we did a plan B, an alternative at the reception venue. Um, and that was fine. That was really good. Uh, it worked out fine in the end. But 
it's just sad like when you see our video it's just not there it just never happened um and then another thing that i would change like if i could go back i think with the planning um i because it was in germany i decided to take it upon myself to find like hotels for people or sleeping arrangements and i think it would have been better if like there's two sides to it like um it may probably would have been better if people booked their own their own hotels like i didn't have to um do that for everyone like the people that i that asked me that was good like i arranged accommodation for them and that was good but like <coughs> excuse me but like for the people um yeah like overall i think it's just easier i had seen it done so i thought let me just do it as well it's in german um like it's germany is german so maybe people might find it hard to um yeah to speak to the people at the hotel or whatever but i think looking back that was not really necessary and then um the fourth and last thing which might be shocking to some people i think it was with my wedding dress like i liked my dress it was good um it's just that i think i i settled too quickly i went to one shop and i tried on three dresses and this was the third dress and um then i said yes <laughs> to the dress but i think there was not so much like excitement and it also wasn't like wow like this is the dress of my dreams you know um i didn't really have that like wow feeling um because i think for me i was a bit too focused on like that oh, it's just a day and i didn't i was also i'm not convinced that she needs to spend thousands of euros or dollars or whatever currency on a wedding dress on a dress that you only wear once um, so I could have still stuck to my budget and maybe checked other shops. I think I settled a bit too quickly in that, but it wasn't terrible. Like it wasn't terrible. It was terrible. I never have worn it, but I just think like maybe I could have been a bit more picky. Like I was not picky enough. I was just like, yes, yeah, so it's good. You know, like <laughs> it will do. I think I had that attitude a bit too much of that. So but when you're searching for your dress like do take your time you don't have to spend crazy amounts of money i'm actually thinking like maybe i should have rented a dress i'm not sure but anyway i just feel like i should have just taken more time to find the dress that i would have fallen more in love with um i was a bit too quick in that regard um, so yes, that's really a recap for my wedding. Um, we had just so many people helping out. We had uh, so many amazing things happening. Um, the Lord's blessing was really upon our marriage. I enjoyed the fact that um, I had such a beautiful dance with my father, with my daddy. Um, he chose the song and it was just so nice. I just felt like a princess when we were dancing together. Um, it felt so, so, so amazing. And I also enjoyed and really um, was very thankful for the prayer um, that my mother spoke over our marriage as well. Um, and, you know, like um, the wedding was also so amazing because my parents just have such great, uh, great friends. Like they have friends that I just go all out, like really um, all my, <laughs> my aunties and my uncles and cousins that came from all those countries are because of my parents and uh, because of my parents who they are and yeah like our wedding was just so amazing and if you're planning for a wedding i wish you all the best like enjoy the day i know that maybe you have decided to also cancel your wedding due to the current uh, circumstances of covid and that's fine i think it's worth it like you can marry civilly and wait for the like big party another time it's worth it you will still be a married couple and um you will still enjoy it for sure and if you're already married uh please comment below like what did you like about the wedding about your wedding um what could you have done differently for those who are going to get married this year what are you looking forward to at your wedding and um yeah like comment down below your thoughts i really look forward to hearing them until next time, stay safe and may the Lord bless you. Bye. You just order what you want. That's called Yeah, that's. <laughs> and you send it.
Yep, and then they bring the order to the table. I need this on my wedding. Yeah. This is Eve's and Accent's words. Yeah, good.